A major idea in algebra is solving equations, and usually they'll be written out, but sometimes you have them in graphical form and you're told to solve the graphical equation. Well, that can, that can be easier than solving an algebra equation because you can see everything important right in front of you. And here's what I mean by that. We have a function f of x, and it's this thing. This curvy line right here is f of x. That's my function. So if I say, what is f of x when x equals, I don't know, 0? So if x equals 0, and I say, what is f of x? What I'm really saying is, what is the y value right here at x equals 0? So in this case, the y value would be negative 4. That would be, um, that would be the answer. That would be my function evaluated at x of 0. But another way to say this question would be a little different. It would be to say, where does my function equal negative 4? See, that's backwards. And I could say, okay, here's negative 4 right there. And it looks like x is equal to 0. Then my function equals negative 4. So you see, that's a little bit, a bit of a backwards way of solving it. So let's address this question. It says f of x equals negative 6. So one thing you can do is make a line that says y equals negative 6. See, that's my line y equals negative 6. And I'm going to say, where does my function equal negative 6? In other words, where does it hit it? There's one spot right there. Here's one spot right here. So I have two solutions. Okay, one is the left dot at x equals negative 2. One is the right dot at x equals, looks like that's 1 half. Okay, fractions happen. Doesn't mean you're wrong. It might be a fraction. It might be a whole number. Um, so that, that's how we solve an equation given a graph. Now, sometimes weird things will happen. And I'll give you a sometimes example right here. What if the question had said, um, solve this, solve f of x equals 5. Okay, then we could use the same method and draw a line at y equals 5 and say, okay, where does my function hit that line? Nowhere. In this case, we have a DNE does not exist. There is no value of x for which your function equals 5. And you can see that looking at the graph. You know, your graph's down here, and you're trying to get it up here. It does not happen. So these are the basic outcomes that you might get from trying to solve an equation graphically.